What's going on my dudes one step here with more details regarding Cyrax's mysterious history as we got more details from the chaos reigns official gameplay for Cyrax and more story expansion details as well we got a lot to talk about uh, especially around Cyrax and the relationship she has with other characters herself her background her clan like I thought we were gonna be just getting gameplay and maybe some small story details nah dude they unloaded a lot and left me personally with uh, with, with, with a lot of questions you know what I'm saying so don't forget to subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat and fighting game content and let's talk about uh, the mysterious history behind the new Cyrax for the new era. I mean first and foremost let's read Cyrax's bio straight out of Mortal Kombat. Shout out to Ice Cream over on Twitter slash X. So Cyrax was born into the Zaki, one of the Lin Kuei's many subclans. For generations it has maintained a quiet presence in the Niger Air Mountains where it stands ready to defend Earthrealm. Martial arts prodigy Cyrax was the youngest Zaki to ever become an active Lin Kuei warrior. That success earned her an invitation to serve directly directly under Sector. So Sector is a, a Grand Master of Swords, it seems. Cyrax seized the opportunity with her trademark vigor, but while her skills have endeared her Sector, her independent streak has not. Despite Sector's best efforts to break it, Cyrax's will remains untamed. She will serve the Lin Kuei on her own terms or not at all. Which kind of plays hand in hand, of course, with Sector's bio, which says, Master Armorer of the Lin Kuei. Sector grew up immersed in the Lin Kuei culture. Her mother was a leading warrior. Her father was its Master Armorer, which as you can see is where they get the armor from, it seems. Sector marveled at his flawless work, apprenticing with him. She eventually surpassed her father's skills, so she made her own armor. When he retired, she took his place. The Sector always wanted to honor her mother's legacy. Now her vast knowledge of weaponry and her formidable martial arts skills made Sector a combatant like no other. Sensing Sector was a kindred spirit, Sub-Zero shared with her his grand vision for the Lin Kuei's future, and she joined his efforts immediately. Now Sub-Zero's most trusted lieutenant, Sector will force the Lin Kuei to evolve, and those who cannot change will be eliminated. So basically, Sector is just like, uh, Sub-Zero's right-hand man. And Cyrax is like, nah, fam, I'm not really about that. I'm gonna do my own thing. And Sector's like, the hell you will get over here. It's like, shit, dude, let me serve Earthrealm how I wish to. So there's already a lot going on, of course, between Sector and Cyrax, the history they have because of the history that Sector has. But not only that, not only are we given their bios, but of course, in the story trailer itself, like right out the gate, we see Cyrax being chased and what seems to be two kill on sight uh, from Sector. Like those missiles, uh, if they had him, if they don't miss, Cyrax is dead. So Sector is definitely aiming to kill, which is very odd. Just because we don't really know what's really, you know, what's going on. No one will respect us. Better to be feared than respected. So right there, you can see that she's more worried. Like, yo, we need, we are the Lin Kuei. Like, we can't be doing, we could be going like a, a wedding day massacre. No one's going to respect the Lin Kuei at that point. And Bihan's like, yeah, who gives a shit? We need to be feared, not respected. So that kind of shows you the contrast between Bihan's personality and Cyrax's, which out the gate it is really cool to see that not everybody who goes under Sub-Zero is going to be just like him and share his world view. I mean, yeah, she was on a fight here at the wedding, but I wonder how much of this afterwards she's going to regret or like maybe she's doing it and getting people out without Sub-Zero knowing about it all. I'm not quite sure. And also the gameplay she has looks awesome. And this part right here, listen to this. How long have we known each other that you could ever believe I'm you? So wait, uh, how long have we known each other? She just goes, mm, quite some time. It's like, huh? So no, no, no questions were answered in that. And he just goes yeah, that you would ever think I would. And then she just interrupts and you're like, think you would, what, what do you mean? Are you vanished? So this sounds like, this already starts to sound like I was a little girl and dad left to go buy some milk and never came back. And Scorpion's the dad that just never came back. I, I don't think that's the case. Maybe it is. Maybe Scorpion had like a past lover and this is his unbeknownst daughter. We, I don't know. That's what it sounds like, but but I don't, I don't think that's the case. Without explanation. Yeah, you left without explanation. That, that's literally the typical story of like dad left and never came back. Like what? Behind, my grandmaster gave me one. You blame me for your actions? And that's all he says. He just says you and, you and you blame me for your actions. That sounds like a typical from like a movie, like a daughter fighting her long lost father and be like, you left me when I was young. And he's like, I didn't even know about you. You blame me for your actions? Like that sounds like typical dialogue you might hear between 
a father who either didn't know had a daughter and left or did leave on purpose to you know for for the for the better good for her and now it's coming back to haunt him i don't know i don't really see it as like father daughter i i don't know it's either gotta be that or as simple as like you know he was the grandmaster like he was her grandmaster as a child and he left maybe it's something to do with family not directly father daughter but maybe it is family somewhere somehow maybe it's just friendship maybe i'm reading too much into it but there's definitely some history here how long have we known each other that you could ever that look right there that look right there of like hmm, you don't know you don't remember how dare you it's like oh, what the freak she's literally judging him so hard right now but we're just for him questioning how long have we known each other okay wait new, new theory now what if it's not like a daughter father but an ex-girlfriend maybe she's like pissed about going to the wedding because like she knows that uh Wai Liang is her ex and now he doesn't remember but why would he not remember that's also the thing is like he questions how long have we known each other or maybe that's him questioning yo how long have we known each other come on like 20 years you know this so maybe he's not actually questioning it maybe he's asking it rhetorically let's watch that with a new eye maybe they're exes how long have we known each other that you could ever believe I yeah, maybe that's it. Maybe he's like, how long have they known each other? Come on, you know me. Like, you, you know who I am. How could you think that I would ever do that? You vanished without explanation. Yeah, okay, okay, so maybe, okay, okay, so maybe, maybe ex-boyfriend he vanished without explanation in the night maybe an ex-lover he goes yeah i got a dip for your own safety or something and now he came on to a new life or same same concept but this is a different universe so this scorpion was you know this scorpion's not her past lover but she in her universe was in love with a kwai liang that looks just like him plays scorpion whatever and he scored this scorpion's a different universe and and he doesn't know that and he meets and he's like i don't even know who you are she's like you were my ex-boyfriend and you just left me maybe that's it you blame me for your actions yeah i can absolutely get, okay now i'm uh, now i'm torn i don't know if it's a if it's like a father daughter thing or if it's like a a, a ex-boyfriend girlfriend thing both seem uh seem pretty viable with that dialogue we were given alone but again regardless cyrax already has some what seems to be complicated history between her or herself between her and sector and, and possibly now even bihan and now between her and scorpion i was wrong thinking you worthy of that armor and that's a comment right there because she's the master armorer for the Lin Kuei, so which leads us to believe she made that armor for Cyrax and her potential skills. And now she's like, no, you can't wear that shit. I made that. You are my instructor and my commander. Don't confuse that with being my superior. Oh, damn, dude. That was a hard line. She goes, you were my instructor. Do not confuse that with being my superior. I'm like, damn, that's sick. So again, complications, a rough past. Uh, Sector has like the superiority mindset. And Cyrex is like, I'm just trying to defend the Lin Kuei slash Earth Realm. Let me do me, fam. Why do you gotta be so angry? Yeah, so, I mean, it's, it's not a ton given to us, but this complication with Cyrax, Bihan, Cyrax, Sector, Cyrax, Scorpion, there's a lot going on, and I feel like I have more questions than I do answers, especially between the relationship of Cyrax and Scorpion. Like, we already have a good understanding, it seems, of, you know, Cyrax, Sector, and the whole mentor, instructor uh, stuff, and then Cyrax and Bihan, she's like, I don't agree with you. He's like, come on, we gotta be feared, not respected. But this whole dialogue right here between her and Scorpion, I got some questions, man. All this to be said that I'm actually glad these new characters are having more character depth than I thought they would be. Like, I knew they'd be in the story, but I thought maybe they were gonna be, like, more like side characters, and nobody would really care about them. They're in, like, you know, a or two but but it seems we're getting a lot more than that and and i love that i'm really glad we're actually getting some character background character history some more meaning in these relationships between these characters also i don't know if you guys can see this but in this uh what seems to be village town there's like a neon light over here for titan havoc's face dude i'm gonna go to that bar but it seems cyrax is gonna be a really big part of the well at least cyrax's story with her and the characters are gonna be a pretty big part of the new story expansion for combat pack 2 for mortal kombat one so with that being said though my dudes let me know down below what are your thoughts on the relationships uh that we're kind of given here detail wise with cyrax and all these other characters do you do what, like what are your thoughts what do you think is going on do you agree with my thoughts do you disagree what are your theories let me know all these things down below subscribe here for more mortal kombat and fighting game content take it one step at a time and go ahead and click into these videos next for more mortal kombat news guides reactions and more